Hi guys, I haven't done a video in quite some time, but let me show you what we've been up to. Um, this is our original 1940s wood floor. We were so desperate to save, and Barry actually did it. He um, had to take most of it up to replace rotten underneath the wood that he could not salvage. Um, you know, we, we were just like out of luck, but from this point here, see the difference in the colors? All that wood there is actually from the little bedroom upstairs. We managed to salvage um, some wood from up there and actually got it to work in this the rest of the space. So, I mean, it came down to literally the last good usable board. Um, so, I, I wanted desperately to save this floor and it is solid, it's sturdy. Poor Barry, he had to shim and wedge and piece and gouge underneath to make this all lay flat. It is sturdy. Um, I cannot wait to sand it all down and get it refinished. I'm going to, well, of course, we're going to do it ourselves, but um, that's the next phase for this. Oh, this little thing here. It's not a stage. It's actually going to be where my pellet stove is going to sit. There's plenty of room there for a pellet stove. And I have a whiskey barrel, and it's going to hold um, the pellets for the pellet stove. So that's what that little stage is for. It's not because I'm going to be singing at home. but um, So that is it. That is my floor. It is finished. It was a labor of love. Um, some of this wood is in pretty rough shape, but I think actually after sanding it and, you know, filling it with love, we'll be able to make it really, really pretty. Um, sure, we could have used all brand new, but honestly, there's nothing like repurposing and salvaging, you know, just what was here. And I so wanted something that was original to the house. The other thing that I am keeping is um, the stairs. I am going to refinish that as well at the same time I do my floors, an old staircase. And this is what I've been doing. Um, I've been washing down these walls, caulking what needed caulked, and getting ready to prime it and paint it. So once it's painted, uh, you can see the pipe there. That's where my sink is going to go. We can place our sink, and Barry's going to start running hot and cold water. So it is coming. I am going to have a kitchen very, very soon. Um, things that we think are going to take a day or two end up turning into a week only because um, this house is not level, it's not square, it's old, and it's, you know, it, it needed us to come and either bulldoze it or love it, and we chose to love it. Um, it's been a little hard to love lately, it's just so, so much work, but I think it's coming along rather nicely, don't you think? So, um, once... Once we get the floor sanded, I am not refinishing it until we get rid of this ceiling up overhead. And all those big boards, all of that beautiful, beautiful wood there is actually going to be, it's going to end up on my walls. It's going to be rough cut um, on my walls. So again, we're going to repurpose and reuse. Uh, I, I love how it's turning out. You know, I, have, I hope we have followers still. <laughs> I know it's been a long time since I posted a video, but honestly, a lot of the stuff that we've been doing, you can't really see. We've been doing, or Barry's been doing um, the electrical, running the plumbing. We had to replace the bathroom floor upstairs. Um, he did finish all of the demo upstairs. So during the winter when we're in here, cozy and snug and warm, We'll be able to still work upstairs, so that is our goal, is to get in by the first snowflake. Um, but if not, you know, we still have the camper. We're still pretty happy in there. Um, I, my goal is to try and make it in here before the first snowflake, but um, it's really coming along. Um, our next big project... Oh, tell them look at our next big project will be um, getting these windows out over here and putting in our sliding door so we can get our tub shower into the back little room there. So thanks for following. Please like, share, and comment. Like, what what do you think I should do with these floors? Should I restain them? Should I paint them? 
And if I do paint them, what color should it be? I am really into colors. I want this to be a colorful, fun house. So um, leave me a comment of what you think what would look great. Um, my kitchen's going to be a butter yellow. I do have yellow in mind for there, so keep that in mind. And to refinish the stairs, I'm going to have it all tie in. I think I have in mind what I really want to do. But it just really depends on, after we sand it, what kind of shape these floors are in. Um, they are pretty rough in spots, but it's all it's all character for me. I love every bit of this floor. It's been a lot of cussing and sweating and swearing, and um, but it, it does look nice. This little cutout area here is actually going to be um, widened just a little bit more. It's going to be for our entryway. We're going to um, put tile down there, so... Um, the next little project here would Barry's going to put down plywood for that and we're going to finish the entryway that way if we have snow um, snow on our boots or mud on our boots we are not going to track it into the house it'll be on this little entryway thing here see how uneven that is it, that would drive me insane so I told Barry please make that wider just to make it look appropriate so he's going to do that next so well, that's it, everybody. Like like I said, leave a comment. Leave um, what you would like to see on the floors, how you think we should refinish the floors and the stairs. And um, the kitchen is all washed down. I'm going to actually prime it probably Thursday. Um, tomorrow I have a show. So I don't like to get in, you know, I like to get in there and get all messy. And I really just don't want to work hard and then go to a show and be out until almost one in the morning. So um, tomorrow's going to be a lay low day. And um, so Thursday, I'm going to uh, prime it. And Thursday, we do have Pokino down at the mug. Come on out and see us. We uh, play music while we um, are playing Pokino. It's so much fun. And let's see, Friday, we have another show. Saturday, we have an elimination dinner for a very dear friend of ours. So, like I said, this is Thursday, I'm hoping to prime. And Sunday, I'm planning to paint my kitchen. So, it'll probably be Monday because, like I said, everything that we think should take a day is actually taking two or three. But that's okay. Anyway, that's it for now. Oh, I do want to show you my little flowers outside. There's Barry taking a break. Much deserved. Look at my beautiful flowers. Look at them. They're just wildflowers. I just threw seeds in there, and they are coming up so pretty. These are like paper. I'm not really even sure what that is, but they are so delicate. And all these little golds and yellows. I got little grasshoppers everywhere. I love seeing life come back into this old house. Got flowers everywhere. So, anyway. Oh, and I do have tomato plants on the other side. Thank you, Jeff Ham, for suggesting that I plant food here. So, we do have tomato plants. And I have, look, tomatoes. I've got them everywhere. We are going to be loaded down. And hopefully, I'll have a kitchen to can in. But I'm really not wanting to can this year. Um, next year will be a nice big year because I'll be able to put in more of a garden. So this year it's going to be a lot of, hey, come get a tomato. <laughs> anyway, burn pile. Oh, that's all the rotten wood that we could not salvage. And there was a ton of it. Like I said, it came down to the very, very last board. So here it is. All we need to do is sand it and finish it and... I will be so excited. Like I said, it's very sturdy. There's not a bounce, not a give, not a squeaky spot right now. It is all solid. I know it looks really rough, <laughs> but that's what I love about it. We're going to, we're going to shine her up, make her pretty. Anyway, peace out and have a great day. Like and comment, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.